Well, I think that the idea of uh, changing the uh, construct of high school and community college in America is right at the core of the problem that you outlined. If there are going to be 14 million jobs over a 10-year period, that's great. And if you look at our community college two-year completion rates overall at 25 percent, and you look at the skill deficiencies that kids who have high school diplomas have, we obviously need some game-changing activities that are going to really create a new opportunity. And part of that is going to involve getting business, higher education, and our school leaders together, community by community, to forge different collaboratives. The thing that we did starting in New York City, the PTEC program, which has been referred to earlier, is a six-year program. Every student completes with both a high school diploma and an associate's degree in computer science or applied sciences. And first in line for jobs at IBM, which is a powerful incentive. But if you went to the school and you went into the classrooms, you'd see the students being educated with their core skills matched up to the entry-level skill requirements for jobs in the industry. So what would be going on in the classroom would be very different from what would be experienced in a normal classroom. And if you look at this school in Brooklyn, uh, in a tough neighborhood with no special admission criteria, no special charter school rules or regulations, at the end of the first year, very high attendance, very high completion rates, and the students already taking uh, college courses in the 10th grade, and doing better than your normal student would do with a high school diploma. So that's the new way of thinking, creating a new opportunity. But we can't just wave a magic wand and imagine that it's going to happen. We actually have to do things differently. And that's what this lesson is about. And I think it connects directly to the Opportunity Nation agenda of reforming Perkins Act money to incent schools uh, to be able to provide connections to labor market information so that their uh, training is for real jobs and real careers, uh, getting higher education and business to the table in a substantive way, and providing a real bright future for larger and no larger numbers of young people. And that's how we take advantage of those 14 million jobs and make the U.S. competitive.